Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and we're finally getting back to this project with the Delco alternator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it off of this Briggs engine, which is a six horse Briggs uh, vintage, and this uh, Delco three wire alternator, also kind of vintage now. I think these came in mostly 80s cars. But we're going to use this to hook to a battery and make a portable jump starter, power generator, anything you need to do with 12 volt power and then I might throw an inverter onto it in another video and make just a little portable power station. So anyway, I already have this hooked up to the motor. I just used a bracket, tensioned it down and got that all set up. Let's get to the wiring. Wiring this up is pretty straightforward. I double checked a couple of schematics to make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, you have the big wire right here. That's coming off of the uh, main part of the alternator going down to a switch. The main reason why I have it switched right here is so I can cut the uh, connection between the battery and the alternator so the alternator isn't under load while I'm trying to pull the uh, pull cord on the motor. So anyway, it comes down to the switch, comes out the other side here, and we have one wire coming off that's going to go up to the number two after the switch, and that's going to energize the coils so it starts generating electricity. And the next thing I have is the indicator lamp, which is plugged into the number one here. And this also will go to the positive of the battery, so I'll link that up. We also have a circuit breaker in here, that way we don't fry anything. And then the negative lead is just right off the body of the, car, uh, of the uh, alternator, and this goes straight to the negative of the battery. All right, I think we're about ready for a running test, so let's get this set up. I'm going to start this up and cycle it a couple of times with the switch, uh, putting load on and off of the alternator, showing that uh, with the switch it turns on and off the charge. You'll also watch the indicator bulb shut off as soon as I have the battery charging, and whenever I shut the uh, circuit off between the battery and the alternator, the indicator light comes back on. All right, here we go. We're going to turn it on. You can see down on the voltmeter, we're almost at 14.6 volts there. Indicator lights off. Let's turn it back off. There we go. Indicator lights on. It's no longer charging. Turn it back on again. You can hear a little bit of belt slip when I turn it on and off. You can see it's charging back up again. And now we're back off. Picked up a little bit of charge and just running at that short amount of time. Everything worked out pretty good. The indicator light works. Uh, all the connections work properly. Uh, got everything wired up properly. A uh, few more things I want to do with this. Uh, I need to figure out a way to get that battery up onto this uh, platform here to make it more portable. But we'll do that in more videos. That's all I have for you today. Until next time, build stuff and have fun.